I believe so. All right, we're ready. Yeah, uh, I think so. I'm just waiting for. Yep. Just got the confirmation that we are currently streaming. Um, so we have a couple things we gotta do. Um, all right, let me retweet all this stuff real quick. All right. Uh, let's see. Because we have the final area to do. Uh, we're definitely not going to finish it this stream, but we will absolutely finish it next stream. Like, we'll finish the game next stream. Make, makes sense. Yep. Uh, we definitely need to get some heart pieces at some point. Uh, we can probably do that next stream. It's, it's no big deal. I know where to get a fairy fountain. I know where there's a... There's actually a fairy fountain in the place we gotta go. The only fairy fountain in Termina. Uh, right now we just need a bit of liquid. Uh, yeah. And we actually need to go to the swamp. for what we need. Because we need a couple things from the swamp. Oh god damn, I didn't mean to do this one. Oh. Uh, actually, we won't need that. Ah, so how's your week been? Uh... Goodness, I'm trying to think like how my week has been. Um, I've been watching Demon Slayer with my brother. Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer. That sounds very familiar. Is that an anime? It's, it's an anime, yeah. Yeah, okay. And right now, our biggest complaint is... We can't get a sense for the world building. <laughs> Oof, that's not good. Okay, so so it's a decent show. It's got great animation. It's got okay characters. Uh, I can't. I can hardly. I can't say that with a straight face. Here, here's the thing. So the main characters in Demon Slayer are a boy with a sword, with a great sense of smell. Oh wow! His How original. Who never talks. Literally, she never talks. They, they muzzle her, actually. Jesus Christ. And she spends most of her time napping in a box. You can see the uh, uh, stream, right? Just make sure. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. We just gotta get and... two things from... Uh... Oops, wrong way. Okay, so Tanjiro, the boy character... His sister is bitten by a demon, and she turns into one. And she's a, a, a rare case because she's a demon who doesn't need to eat human flesh. Something that in universe is very odd. There's no explanation for this. They actively avoid explaining why. Instead, she seems to get all of her power through sleeping. Because she sleeps for two years. While Tanjiro goes on his training expedition, and she awakens on the day he's fully trained. Oh wow, what a coincidence. Yes. The way you're describing it, it sounds like there's a lot of contrivances. There is a lot of contrivances. Yeah, that's like, what I suspected. Lit literally the day of... Come on, get up. The day she becomes a demon is the one day he's not with his family because he's in town. And somebody told him, hey, you should stay here at my place instead of going out at night because a demon might eat you. Lo and behold, he shows up at home the next day and a demon has eaten his family. So literally the day he learns of demons is the day uh, his sister becomes one. Oh, wow. Uh, she also, as I mentioned before, doesn't talk. She's a non-entity in the story. 
But she's 90% of his motivation because he insists that he must cure his sister, who's a... Okay, let, let me explain. So demons are stronger than humans. Makes sense. She's also an insanely strong demon who does not eat human flesh, which all demons must do. And instead, she gets all of her power by napping. Demons cannot go out into the sunlight, so she spends most of her time napping in a box he carries on his back. She also controls her weight, so she's very light, so he doesn't have to worry about carrying her around. Well, it sounds like there's no reason for her to actually, you know, be around. No, sometimes she joins in the fight scenes. That's it, by the way. That, that, that's as far as it goes. Ugh. So she doesn't uh, actually have really any kind of character whatsoever. Like, I'd call her dead weight, but if she's not even that. She has very little character. She's mostly there as a motivation for the protagonist. Oh, like uh, 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 the girl from Kingdom Hearts. Yes, Kyrie. Yeah, she the one with zero character or personality. Yeah, but this one's better because she gets to join in the fight scenes. Uh, the main villain is introduced the very same episode they bring him up. That sounds real. That sounds like horrible pacing. So, see, what they do is they, they're like, okay, in order to bring make your sister a not-demon, you need to find, um... The, the, the demon that the turned her, or some shit. The, the first demon. He's the first demon. He's not just any demon who turned her. He's the first demon. The only oh. demon who can turn other demons. Oh, so it's like vampire rules. If, if, if only one vampire could turn all the other vampires. I mean, that's how it was in early mythology, only uh, the head vampire could do so, and the uh, thralls... I mean, the thralls could also, but they would still be under the uh, head vampires. This control. is, there's only one head vampire ever. Yeah. So it's not like a vampire can become its own head vampire, It's this is the only head vampire in the entire world. And all uh. vampires come from him. That sounds really dumb. And, and they introduce him by immediately going, Okay, so you must find him, and he's the one you have to uh, get to in order to save your sister from being a demon forever. And that same episode, they meet Oh, wow, him. that is a terrible guard. Oh, yeah, we have, to, we have to get something here as well. Oh, okay. So, uh, so basically didn't pick up. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm just preparing so that I don't have to, uh... Now, I, okay. I will say this is a valid complaint. The place that we're about to do next is a valid complaint because if you don't know what to do, it can actually be pretty dumb. Uh, oh. Let's see. Oh, man. Yeah, it just sounds like a bunch of contrivances that... I don't know anything about it. I'm going based on what you're saying, but as is, it doesn't sound like a good anime at all. Like I'm cutting out a lot of fact, because the main character has this bad habit of... Being you know how in like, really early anime, like Dragon Ball Z, how they'd have like flashbacks every 10 seconds or like oh, God. monologues in his head? That sounds terrible. They don't do flashback, but they do make the characters voice everything that goes through their heads. Uh, for example, this was very egregious, and my brother and I mocked it relentlessly. So, Tanjiro, the main character, runs into two demons who are good demons. And they and they offer to help him. Oh, wait, I think it might be faster to do. Okay. And while Tanjiro is uh, with them, 
one of them is giving like a lot of uh, exposition, like how demons work, etc., etc. Et it's basically an exposition dump. Is, is it is, is it exposition. framed in a way that actually is good, or is it just uh, shoehorned in? Because like it, there, it's it's a better it's a better exposition dump than I've seen in other shows. Oh, okay. Because at least it's interesting and it gives like the characters like an idea of where they need to go and what they need to do. I think the Maybe best expedition them. exposition dump I've ever heard was uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, whenever Hohenheim is explaining, you know, the great plot. Because mm. uh, that's a really good exposition. I uh, haven't I, don't, I haven't seen uh, Brotherhood in a while, so I'd have to uh, watch that again, but. Well, uh, because it's building on the whole flashbacks uh, episode, uh, it, yes. it, like he's explaining the finer details of what that was. Ah, uh, Captain, so... uh, Captain's at your attention. We've been guarding the grave as your orders. Oh, wh what's your next orders? Open the grave. We're going to uh, rob this royal tomb. We're going to rob a royal tomb one last time. Didn't pretty do that? Uh, we've done it twice before, actually, but we have to do oh. it one last time. There's a different uh, royal tomb to rob each night. Okay. I yeah. thought we did the uh, royal tomb for the first two days. No, no, we did for the second two days. Ah, okay, the second day and the third day, gotcha. Yeah, because... Uh, okay. Makes sense. So, midway through this exposition dump, one of the characters, who's essentially a simp, Ugh. has an internal monologue where he goes, Lady Tamako is beautiful, and tomorrow she'll be even more beautiful. And then they go right back to exposition. Does that have anything to do with anything? No. It is not important. Because, literally, it's just his... They, they take this moment out of your time to have a character basically reinstate the fact that he's a simp toward one character. Uh, and we already know this because it's the entire personality he has. So he's constantly praising her. His entire personality is literally saying this one lady is beautiful. And then the next... And then in the middle of an exposition scene... They remind us that that's his personality trait, and then they go right back to exposition. So it serves no purpose. Like it's it's not, not even a it, it's not even a show. Don't tell. Like or it, they don't even. Okay. By the way, it's not. It, I I love this room. This is one of my favorite rooms. It's so pretty. Oh. It's got so many different textures. Pretty. I love the blues. The blues are great. And there's the stage back here. With the uh, curtains held. It, it's a really good... Uh, well, uh, Makes sense. Ow. Damn it. I was trying to be coy. Here we go. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I said, here we go. Because I knocked off her um. armor. Oh, gotcha. hi. There we go. They're not nearly as difficult now that I remember the rhythm. The stage is set. You want to voice this character? Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a moment. <clears throat> Let me find a voice. Uh, try nasally. Are you the one who freed my soul? Because it's Luigi. Oh, it's Luigi. <laughs> it's -a me, Luigi. No, that's Mario. It's -a, -me. it's a me, Luigi. I serve the Icona royal family. I'm the composer called Flat. Have you tried implants? Haha, <laughs> 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 very funny. But my sister was a decap. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here are all composed by my brother and I. But I did most of the work, that bum. 
Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. Yeah, he sold his soul to the de like their name dropping the devil. So Termina has a devil, like an actual devil. Wild. Not just a devil, the devil. Oh, may maybe he means like the devil in music. You who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I like you to inform him he's a big fat saucy bitch and I hate him. A thousand years of raindrops, some of my song are my tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made my request. Stab him for me. With this baton. Shove it right I up have, his ass. I have left you my ghost busting equipment. Please use it. A thousand years of raindrops summoned by blah blah. Oh, it literally just the same thing he said. Okay. Here's fair. written the song that shall cleanse his curse, uh, the black soul. Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> it's such a weird... With the way I have the controller, Matt, it's such a weird combination of buttons. Luckily, I only have to play it once. It's a melody you've heard before. Uh, the, this melody that you've heard before is a turbulent tune that blows curses away. You remember what uh, it was used for in the last game? Uh, now nah, my memory is kind of fading there. Oh. It was uh, used to speed up the... Um... The windmill. Yes, and you remember what that did? Uh, it's the Song of Storms, okay. Yeah. Oh, God. So, so what I do to get that my voice that nasally? You pinch your nose? Yeah. Yeah, I, I figured. It's very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. I usually just speak with, the, like, the hard back of my throat to try and get that, like, This is my Luigi voice! Oh, let me try that. This is my Luigi voice. No, oh, try understand. like you have to like stick the back part of your tongue up a bit. This is my no. This You're... this is oh god. Try I, voice I, exercises. I, I, I like, wah 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 we are going to make this. We're, it's time to do this now that we actually have the thing we need. Oh, this is sharp again. Yes, I forgot he he was a thing. Yeah. What business do you have in the Kana Kingdom, the land where only the dead roam? This is no place for one so, so full of life as you. Or do you wish to say that you wish to join the dead? That's fine. If that is the case, now sleep gently. Then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play. And join the ranks of the dead. This has... Okay. What is this? This song? No, it can't be. This song. No, this song. It was made by my brother. He's such an asshole. Oh, no. no. He's using his equipment. He's, exp he, he's exercising me. What a world. What a world. What a world. Ah. Uh. And now the river is flowing. The Wicked Witch was originally a... Uh, oh, to be a born actor. into a house instead of that of a water wheel.
that's that's gonna be our reoccurring joke, isn't it? I get the feeling it is. You're the one that made it a reoccurring joke. Uh, to be fair, it cannot be helped. I know. It's gonna be a thing anytime we see a water wheel, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. The uh, main character of uh, Demon Slayer, his main method is a move that's called Water Wheel! Where he just spins really fast. Oh man, if only he had a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who uh, aren't in the know of what we're referencing, uh, the uh, one of the lines in Twilight Princess caught Scraps off guard, and he just absolutely loves it. <laughs> it's oh to be born in a household with a slingshot instead of that of a water wheel, and it because it's said by a baby, a literal baby. Farewell to the Gibdos. Now this is, this right here, what we're about to do, is one of the reasons why I love... Oh, Flat, my dear brother, forgive your foolish brother. I mean, I can't actually help it, I still sold my soul to the devil, so I'm doomed to be in hell for all eternity. But you, who don't fear the dead, you can break the curse on this land, can't you? You should not be lingering here. It was a trick to the masked one who had upset things. If you don't fear the dead, then I wish for you to go to the temple in this land that serves the root of the curse of evil that curses, torments us. I am fumbling on my words today. Do that. Oh. I know the way to the temple. You must go speak to the king, the king who runs the kind of castle. I've made my final request, and now it's off to hell. Goodbye! Ah. So yeah, uh, the song that plays is called Farewell to Gibdos. This is one of my, this is right here, is one of my favorite, oh, god damn it, I didn't mean to spook her. Uh. Oh, let's, Let's do this the lazy way. Yep. yep. I do like that, um... That the characters in this, uh, game have connections to each other. Oh yeah, As this I is said, multiple times. Yeah, this is uh, Pamela. Uh, her father here, uh, her fa father moved here with her to uh, study the paranormal. Um, he's a paranormal researcher. And he's gone missing. Well, he's certainly not here, as you can see. By the way, mm. uh, I I love the textures here. That texture right there is the uh, great fairy uh, texture. Oh. The the uh, texture outside the fairy fountains. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see, he's not down here either. Is that a boombox? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's let's read his notes. Can he... Ah! Quick, what do we do? Uh, uh sword. Sword. All right. Stop it! Who are you? What are you doing just walking into people's houses like this? Don't. It's me, Pamela. My aunt is named Pamela. Get out! Forget everything you've seen here and get out! So sorting him wasn't the correct answer? Well, clearly bombing him isn't the correct answer either. So... Well, bombing just gets her to come out to investigate the noise. Yeah. The uh, thing about him is... Actually, Pamela will explain everything in a... Uh, once I... Uh... There's a song for this, isn't there? It's a song of healing. You want me to try the Song of Healing? Sure. Alright. 
Thank goodness I was right. Yeah. After brutal mutilation mm -hmm. failed. <laughs> Father. <laughs> Father. Your your line. Pamela. What have I been doing this whole time? You haven't been doing anything. You just had a bad dream. It was just a nightmare. Pamela, I was dreaming about propane. <laughs> uh, and propane accessories. And propane accessories. Dang it, Pamela. That you got the right. Gipto mask. This mask was once the hideous face of my, myself. This mask is so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. Alright. Uh... I should be able to look at the research, or was that not added until... What? Do I... What if I talk to them again? Let them be, don't you get it? So insensitive. Propane, Gosh. propane, propane, propane. Like, I guess the, uh... I guess they won't... I guess I didn't trigger the thing to let them explain it, but, uh... Essentially, what it is, is, um, and now we have pretty much all the masks we need. Uh, the, um, thing is, so he was studying the Gibdos, the Gibdo. uh, okay. and, and the Garu, uh, because he, you saw the, he had the picture of the Garu as well, right? Um, and what it was, was the Gibdo captured him and started to turn him into one of them. But, uh, and now we have everything we need to go down here. Ow. Because it's the bottom of the well time. My goodness, is this a repeat, repeating theme? Am I going to have to worry about wells in uh, Twilight Princess? I'm trying to think. Leave it! Leave me something blue that bestows health. And that is why we bought this. This is it. I bear no remorse. You wanna, uh... You wanna, uh... Interchange each one? So each you new voice, character? Yeah, each Gibdo. Okay. So sure. This one will be yours. Alright. Leave it! Leave it! Leave me something delicious to chomp on! Something that sprouts when it's watered! Preferably five of it. them! We take one? God damn it! Ugh. Maybe this we'll is find more. Thing. Maybe we'll. Yeah, that's the uh, gimmick of this dungeon. Uh, oh, I know I will need a fish at some point. Where do you find more? What? The seeds? Yeah. Oh, I just gotta go uh, back to uh, um, the Deku Palace. Mm. But uh, okay. maybe I can. I, I might be able to find more here. Leave me H2O. I don't have it. All I have is a fish. Do you want a fish? It's yours. Leave it! Leave it! Leave me some deliciously fresh. Ah, this, this, I bear you no remorse. Yeah. I do like the door. You have texture. to collect a fish if you ever have to come back here. Huh? What? No, you only have to do it one one that. Uh, what is that? Oh god damn it! I didn't actually want to catch that fish. 
Mm, ouch. This is why having all the bottles is useful. Mm, makes sense. Okay, I guess that doesn't count as the right kind of water. Ah! Ah, you got grabbed! Grabbed by the ghoulies. Oof. That's a rare game, right? Yes. A pretty mediocre one, if I remember right. Okay. Yeah, I've heard about it, but I haven't played it. Okay, I don't know if we'll need hot spring water, but I do know that we do need regular water. Um, I think I might actually be able to... Well, I want to check to see if Clocktown has... I might be able to buy seeds in Clocktown. If not, then I'll uh, head over to... Um, if I can't, then I'll head over to the uh, Deku Palace and grab four more. I thought I just needed one, but apparently I didn't. I need more. Fair enough. Which is annoying. God damn it. Uh, is it this one then? Nope. Back in one hour. Let's see. So I've recently been reading up on a particularly terrible fellow. He's been described as <clears throat> about as devious as they come in an area in an era of deviousness. Did not ample documentation prove that he actually existed? We might suppose him one of the less plausible inventions of Charles Dickens. Ah, is it Scrooge? No. Really? This is a real human being. Oh! Oh, is it a, um... Oh shit, is, is it the one that, uh, uh, basically passed out in Dickens' front lawn? No. It's not related to Dickens. It's, it's a commentation of just how awful a person he is. Ooh, who is it? <clears throat> so, you know Edgar Allan Poe? Oh, he's the one that... Uh, no, 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 we're not, we're not talking about... We're, we're just describing Poe at the moment. So he's not the guy that hated Poe and essentially got to write down how Poe died and completely tarnished Poe's uh, Poe's legacy by making him die drunk of an overdose in, of opium in the gutter? Because that's not actually how he died, you know. Okay, I, I think there's a misconception. So Edgar Allan Poe died when he was kidnapped and drugged and essentially died of a sickness following after that in a hospital bed. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the man that we're talking about today is Rufus Wilmot Griswold, who wrote uh, the obituary and later the memoir of Poe's life which he greatly exaggerated into one of a life of villainy. Yeah, he, he's the one that uh, wrote down that Poe died in the gutter. He did not actually write anything about that. No. Oh. As far as I'm aware. Li literally, he just wrote that uh, Poe was a constant drinker who abused people and was uh, constantly uh, taking, like, drugs. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> That's rough. G generally, so, so, so I've been reading up on Rufus Wilmot Griswold, who I'll just refer to as Griswold from now on. God, it sounds this like the name of an evil wizard. Yes. <laughs> To be fair, there are people who consider him just so cartoonishly evil that it's that they hardly believe he's a real person. Oh damn it, it's not here. So here's a rough example of his life. He was the fourteenth child of uh, he was the twelfth child of a of a father who lived on a farm who had fourteen kids. Alright. He sold his home 
and then left at the age of 15 to become a homeless outcast. In which, at the age of 15, he fell in love with a flute-playing journalist named George C. Foster and had a romantic relationship with him before leaving. And Foster apparently never got over it because he sent him a letter, Come to me if you love me. Later, Griswold married uh, an, an, a lady called Caroline Surlis. Yeah. While he was married to Caroline Surlis, he attempted to, to become a politician. But they didn't like him. So he uh, ended up um, mostly going around and working at a newspaper where he basically spent his entire time there being mean to people. There's a pattern here. Yeah. Anyway, he's an while he was asshole. away, while he was away, Caroline died in childbirth. And when he returned home, he basically... I hate saying this, but he molested the corpse and Ew. spent time with it for several days, even after she was entombed. Gross. That reminds me of that one doctor who is so infatuated with uh, this one woman that, uh, who is this patient that uh, he paid for, uh, like, um, like, he paid for her treatment and her stay, but she had, like, tuberculosis or something, you know, oh. something that was a guaranteed killer at, uh, at the time. At that time? Yeah, and, like, after she died, he paid for her, uh, uh, her, her well, he, he, no, 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 for her, uh, mausoleum. The family was planning on burying her, but he paid for a mausoleum. Uh, and then later he broke into the mausoleum and stole the body and uh whenever it was rotting because you know corpse it yeah. uh he would replace the uh he he would replace like the fallen skin with wax uh put a wig on it and eventually it like was unrecognizable uh yeah. so yeah uh and then the family found out he didn't receive any like legal punishment. Uh, they were just like, "Yeah, no, we're not going to press charges. Just put our uh, daughter's corpse back in the mausoleum." Fair enough. And then he made a quote-unquote lifelike replica of her corpse, uh, which a lot of people. And put that. Well, no, no. Uh, he, he did put her corpse back, and then. Because the thing is, he would like dance with it, and but like, so people would be like, "Oh, he, he found uh, some." Is like, nope, nope, that's actually just a corpse. Basically, put, turned it into a puppet, essentially. Yeah, I think somebody mentioned that when I was talking to them about this guy earlier today. That's that's literally the exact same person. Now that you mentioned, bring up the dancing. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, so... there's only so many cases of people like being super super weird with corpses in a way that's horrifying and enough to make it to the mainstream okay so so griswold by the way he did die of tuberculosis so, so that's topical enough <laughs> so so griswold uh 40 days after she, she was entombed he entered her vault cut off a lock of her hair and then kissed her on the forehead and lips and wept for several hours Staying, for, staying by her side until a friend found him 30 hours later. Oof. This what? is, by the way, the only one out of his three wives I can say he had at least some love for. Because he hated his second wife because she was infertile. And actually said the marriage should be null and void on that premise alone. Oof. He was basically bullied into marrying her apparently because like she was related to his family somehow uh she was she was related to his his apparently oh, let me look this one up second marriage Rizzo had been 
Oh, well, damn it. I didn't Jared mean to do that. Went on, despite his concern about their differences in religious beliefs. Yeah, so, I, yeah. basically, he was. They, they were different religions, and uh, he was basically bullied into marriage by her aunts. Only to discover, like, the day of their wedding that she was incapable of having sex. Oof. I mean, capable of having sex or incapable of having kids, because those are two different... Sex. This is specifically sex, according to Poe. Okay. The, uh, I've been, uh, watching a lot of Oversimplified, and on the topic of, uh, wives, I just finished watching the one on Henry VIII. Ooh, Henry VIII is a weirdo. Oh, yeah. Apparently he was, like, really good at the start of his reign, and then it went all downhill... Uh, yeah, I think I've heard that. Fast. Oh, you found more magic beans. No, I bought. I, I went back to the swamp to buy some. Buy them. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I blanked for a moment. I was too busy uh, reading stuff from his wiki page. Yeah. I think the um. Oh God damn it! I got frozen. I was frozen today. Leave it! Leave me something that makes a blinding flash! Well, it just so happens that I have 11. Ah, this is it. I bear no remorse. Ah, oh, my, my throat hurts today. Yeah. You wanna voice I, this I, I, one? Uh, I said my 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 throat hurts today. I don't want to voice any more characters. All right, all right. I'll voice everyone. Leave it. Leave me something warm that can melt ice and quench the spirits. Oh, so this is the hot spring water. Yeah. Actually, give me a moment. I'm just gonna cough for a few seconds. Gargle salt water. Yeah, sorry, I just felt like I had a lump in my throat. That's what was driving me crazy. Behold the immortal cow of Ikana. Wild. I mean, it's been here locked in the bottom of this, uh... uh of the well in Ikana for who knows how long. Ooh, nice enough. music. Reminds me of the pasture. <laughs> that song makes me want to give lots of milk. I'll give you some milk, it'll make you healthy. Okay, I, I wanna apologize. I, I am fine to open more voice my characters. I was just like... Said, said the wrong word when I was just like, my voice is hurting right now, give me a second to cough. Oh, okay. Oof. And then do you wanna voice this one? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> leave it, leave it! Leave me ten refreshing blasts. God damn it! I only have three. Well, I'll probably find bombs. What's a refreshing blast? Bombs. Bombs? Uh, bo you're giving him bombs? I'm sure I'll find some. Like uh, the only wild. things that aren't in the uh, the only things that can't be found in here is the. Uh, uh, Oh, I will need bugs. I know, like, there's three of them that want bugs. Ah, okay. Alright. Let's see, so who else is there? Oh, you, what do you want? Leave it! Leave me something deliciously fresh. Oh, this one wants fish as well. Do uh -huh. bugs count as fresh? I don't know. If think you don't so. have it, I don't need you. Nice. Hey, regular water. Let me. I actually need this. Uh, oh god damn it! I got frozen again. I hate the ice keys. The ice keys are the ones that I hate the most. Okay. 
Because they're the ones that freeze you. I hate the litany keys. Because if you hit them, you get electrified if you're not. Oh, yeah, and by the wild. Yeah. Leave it, leave it! Leave it! Leave me, H2O! Leave me, Dihox... Dihydrogen Monoxide! DHMO is in your bread! It's also nuclear waste! It's in everything! You can't be trusted! Yeah. I, I, I love... I love that... Uh... Factoid of, uh... Or that, uh, uh, thing. Wait, oh, was that an invisible web? Yeah, well, it wasn't invisible. It was just dark. By the way, I forgot oh. to, uh... I forgot to... Yeah, I forgot to slow down time. I, I, I oh, sped shit. it up earlier for a, a thing. And I forgot to slow oh, it shit. down. It's fine. Uh, there's a... Like you said earlier, there's uh, built-in checkpoints, which are basically the items, uh, okay. and there's one we're in... We're still on day one, though, so I guess that's fine. Well, we're about to get to n day two, but okay. it's fine. The item we need is in here, and once we have that, uh, once we have the item in here, we'll have what we need. There we go, bombs. Oh, fuck. Not these guys. Ah, they're, they're spooky ghosts. They're ghastlies. Yeah. Do I have enough? Oh yeah, I have enough. Scary, spooky, scary. Okay, so did so I, I never buy a bomb bag? Did I ever buy the bomb bag upgrade? I do not think you did. Ooh. Well, I will definitely need to do that uh, once. Leave it. Leave me something small and creepy. Oh, I have something small and creepy right here. Ah, this I bear you no remorse. Is it in here? Oh, I th oh. God damn so it. I haven't gotten to one of the most ridiculous things about Griswold. What is it? So, when Gris... So, Poe! Uh, basically left his job as an editor. And, okay. Griswold was hired by George Rex Graham to take up Poe's former position as an editor for Graham's magazine. Griswold was paid more and given more editorial control over the magazine than Poe ever did. Uh, Griswold apparently threatened Poe with uh, some degree of violence and basically bribed him for good reviews on his books. <laughs> oh, that's just terrible. Because he, he knew Poe was always like in need of money. So he basically told Poe, give me a good review on my book and uh, I'll pay Come you on. for the review. Get over here. Come on. Uh, eventually, one of the things that uh, is most interesting is that the reason Griswold hated Poe is because Poe gave a mostly positive review, mostly positive review on one of his books. <laughs> and was it a book he didn't like? It was mostly positive. Okay. What was yeah, the... the fact that it was that was just a mostly positive review? Not a crap, but not a like perfect review. Oh, uh, okay. So, so it'd be like if like a critic gives in a nine on like uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild instead of a ten. It, it, uh, it's that kind of petty. Sounds like a dick. He was a notorious dick. I know. I can still state the fact. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so where the hell do I go? I'm ignoring you. I think someone here needed a fish. You needed a fish. Leave it. Something deliciously fresh. I wonder what these guys do with them. Like, they can't eat, can they? Nope. Maybe they just really want to have, like, a pet fish?
I don't know if I'm gonna need these, but I'm grabbing them just in case. Getting right. some nut. We need. Leave it. Leave it. You need a ghost. Oh god damn! It, I have to get a big po. What the fuck is a big po? <laughs> uh, there's gonna be a big. Po a big there's gonna be a big po probably uh, in here. Mm. Leave it. Give me something small. God. Mm. I need to go you grab just another. Your last bug. Yeah, I got rid of my last bug uh, not too long ago, so I need to get. Oh, that's rough. Uh, they're everywhere. I think it's literally in just the other room. Oh. Yeah, most of the stuff is. I I do like the concept of this uh, bottom of the well. Oh, right. It was right over here. It, it's, wasn't it's a neat it? idea. I, I like that at least. Nope, it wasn't here. Where it's a uh, labyrinth where you have to go explore and trying to find all these items. If you do have the items on hand, alright, here they are. Uh, yeah, uh, where everything is in here, and you can get the items outside of the dungeon. Uh, like it is possible to go outside dungeon to just ga gather all, gather most of the items uh, outside the d uh, bottom of the well. But uh, most of the stuff can be found. I I, I like it. I, I like the concept as a dungeon. Just trying to. F okay. It's even if it is a, a fetch quest. A fetch quest dungeon is fun in like a short burst, I guess. Like if it was like every dungeon, or if it was like a really long dungeon, or just a dungeon that was like really complicated, or like really difficult. Because it mostly seems to be just going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, and trying to figure out who wants what. Yeah, like if it was like a really difficult dungeon. That would probably be a different matter, or like a dungeon that was like. Oh jeez. Okay. Really You're annoying. dying. You're dying. You die. You die. Alright. Getting you. Getting you. I hope that what's in here is good. God damn it. Alright, uh, so that means the big po would, if I had to guess, would probably be in that big room. Mm. So I need to make my way over there. <laughs> so what do you want? Uh, ten refreshing blasts. Right, right. This is the one that wanted bombs, but at the time I didn't have it. But now I now do. do. Yeah, because I picked up bombs and then I got attacked by the ghastlies. Remember? Oh yeah, this is definitely a boss room. Uh, let's go with you. Uh, and also let's go with. Oh yeah, here's the big pill. There's only three in the game. Mm. So you're just gonna stuff them into a bottle? Yeah, uh, I should probably get that ready, actually. The fact that you're basically just stuffing a ghost in a bottle is hilarious to me. I mean, we stuffed the Deku Princess in a bottle before. I guess. But this is like an enemy, rather than somebody who's like, please stuff me in your bottle. I mean, we gotta get rid of his uh, corporeal shell first. Fair really, the the interesting... Th so there's a lot of theories about Pose. When he dies, I want you to take very good notice of where his soul spawns from. The lantern? Yeah. So there's a lot of interesting theories about Pose that the thing we fight isn't their actual like soul, but just like a somewhat corporeal form, uh, and their soul is actually in the lantern. 
And I can believe that, especially uh, with how Poe's are in uh, Twilight Princess. There's an enemy in Paper Mario, the first one, not Thousand Year Door, which we'll be playing later, uh, but in the first one that has sort of a similar thing going on. He's basically a big uh, ghost in a sheep for lamp, and you have to attack the lamp. It's a very popular uh, type of ghost. To, to be fair, you do have to attack the ghost, and beating up the lamp is mostly to make it possible to hurt him. Yeah. But, uh, there's a boss in. Um, yeah. There's a boss in uh, uh, Link's Awakening. The second boss is a genie, and you have to attack the lamp. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen video footage of that one. Oh, I do not have time to sit and dither. Let's just see. What do you want? I think you want a fairy, because you're the last one. Leave it. Leave me something rich in cal- Nope, you're the milk! Huzzah! I am prepared! Woohoo! I could have swore there was one that wanted, um, a fairy. So, can you guess what the item we're gonna- Uh, light arrows? Oh, mirror shield! Uh, oh right, I have to light these. Yeah, I was wondering how long it would take you to do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh wow, I got two with one arrow. I wish I could say that was nice. a pro gamer strap, but that was a complete accident. What? Nice. Oh, I guess I didn't. Never mind. I like the mirror shield in this game. It's a really good design. It's based off one of the masks in uh, on the Happy Mask Salesman back. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool, huh? You like it, Scraps? Yeah, it, it's spooky. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely different. And the cool thing is that it automatically, oh, uh, there we go. It automatically what? It, it automatically equips. It just straight up replaces the old shield. Okay, that's interesting. Uh. And now to see... Oh, I don't need this anymore. No. And now to see the area that we gotta go. That we gotta beat. The ancient castle of Ikana. God, look at that map at the bottom right. This is really good framing. Like, this is good game design. You just, just show you the map first? Well, they give you the climb up the well before showing you this. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, it's really good. So, let's uh, quickly just restart time real quick. Oh, okay. Wait, is it because we had it slowed? What? No, no, uh... Uh... I'm gonna go buy a bomb bag, but also because it's best to start this on, uh... I, I want to start this on day one, because it can take, like... Depending on the route I choose, I, I do not remember what the optimal route is for this one, because there's multiple, there's multiple routes you can do. But, uh... Oh, god damn it. But also, it, uh... It can take some time. There is a chance that it can take some time. But also, I want to uh, uh, get healed up and also buy a new bomb bag. Oh, damn it. I have to... Oh! I forgot I... Okay. I have to...
skip to the third night then. I'm going to speed up time and I have to skip to, uh, to the third night so that I can go to the curiosity shop and buy the stolen bomb bag. Something I should have done yesterday. Or last week. Uh, this is definitely not optimal route, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Mm. Uh, yeah, the... Oh, yeah. Uh, so, Ikana has the most things to do out of I all the that areas. And the dungeon's music is my absolute favorite. I will... When we get to it, I will give you some uh, some interesting things. And and there's so much good environmental storytelling in Ikana that's hidden behind Easter eggs. Like I'm going to show you my absolute most favorite thing in the entire game today, and you are going to love it. I just know it. We just gotta wait for uh, uh, 10 o'clock to roll around so that I can buy the bomb bag from the curiosity shop. Um, so, uh, there was something you wanted me to uh, tell you during this stream, uh, if you remember. Uh, yes. You have know. never seen Saw. Yes, I have never. I, no, I've seen the first movie and okay. I've seen the second one. Okay, you've seen, you've seen the two that were. Uh, made by the original creator before he passed. Uh, really, he died? Yeah, that's why every uh, one afterwards gives uh, special thanks to him, even though, like, the the first two were written by him and done by him, and then he passed away. I want to say pancreatic cancer, um, but uh, every, uh, every one after that... Uh, like give special thanks to him. Oh, is this uh, like in why why in the uh, third or is it fourth movie the uh, saw killer is said to have cancer or something? But no, that was That's always from movie. the beginning. That was from the first movie. Ever okay. since the first movie, because the whole thing was that Doctor Gordon was uh, or not? Do yeah, Doctor Gordon was uh, the uh, was his doctor. You oh, know, uh, oh, Cariel oh, was. About that. I have not seen that in ages, by the way. So, okay, so the, I've been trying to figure out the best place to start, and they always say the best place is to start at the beginning, but it's really hard to pinpoint what the beginning is. So I guess I'll start in chronological order. Uh, John Kramer is the Jigsaw Killer, uh, that you know. Um, I don't know if you knew his yeah, name, but you know who he is. I believe so, yeah. And the very first thing that kick-started a series of unfortunate events in his life was his nephew was sold a faulty or was sold a motorcycle with a faulty brake and uh, he got in an accident just hours later and the uh, person who sold him the uh, uh, motorcycle was well aware that it had a faulty brake but didn't face any like punishment um, okay. So that was the very first thing. Then um, his uh, his wife was uh, they were specifically conceived, and they chose when to conceive so that their son Gideon would be born in the year of the boar. That's why he uses pig imagery a lot uh, because odd, but... because uh, when uh, his wife ran or uh, volunteered as a nurse at a rehab clinic, I believe. And so one night when she was closing up, um, she, uh, um, there was a, a, a drug addict who uh, basically, oh, right, I need to take that off. Uh, there was a drug addict who basically came in to uh, rob the place. And what it is is, um, the thing is, the drug addict had a lookout, and the lookout was Amanda. 
which Kramer did not know. John Kramer did not know that Amanda was the uh, was working with the uh, drug addict that uh, basically pushed a, a door very hard into his pregnant his wife, wife, and that caused. Uh, miscarriage. Yes. Um, and so after that, John Kramer was diagnosed. Well, John Kramer went was suffering headaches and stuff, and uh, got like X-rays and stuff. But his X-rays had been mixed up, so his cancer wasn't found uh, as fast as it should have been. So that's why, by the time it got really bad, uh, that, that that's why by the time they found it, it was already really bad uh, and too far along. And so, it, with all the terrible stuff that happened, he tried to take his own life, but he survived, and he found a new appreciation for life and decided to get his revenge. First, starting with the uh, person who took his son. He tied him into a chair uh, with, uh, like, uh, a welded chair. And also, the puppet, Billy the puppet, you know, the uh, white puppet with black hair and the red swirls, that was a, a toy that uh, John Kramer was making for his son. He was a uh, toy maker. Um, okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah. So... Very creepy, doll, by the way, just saying. It was less creepy when it was meant to be for his son. Mm, fair enough. I mean, it's no more creepy than, like, Victorian-era porcelain dolls. Fair enough, fair enough, I guess. Um, so he k kidnapped... He stole a pig mask at a, uh... A, a, at a, uh... Chinese New Year celebration. He stole a pig mask, kidnapped the drug addict, and, uh... put him in a, a special chair, which would fall apart if a uh, if a panel was pressed the panel was like a foot in front of his face but between the drug addict and the panel was a uh, bunch of knives so he would have to press his face through the knives in order to uh, get the chair to fall apart and he did he succeeded but then he tried to attack John Kramer which honestly I can completely understand he and what? uh he tried to attack John Kramer afterwards, who was okay. monologuing, and Kramer just sidestepped, and the, the guy fell into a bunch of barbed wire and uh, sliced himself up. Uh, Ooh, okay, so, so that was another trap. So well, it was, it, it, it was a, a contingency, uh, sort of. Okay. So, it, so if this guy chose to attack me, he would still die, but yeah, this time yeah. because of... On his own uh, terms. Attacking. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, then, uh, John Kramer was, uh, oh, wow, I just fell through those stairs. Because I jumped through the loading zone past where the collision ends. Oh, okay. But in a funny way. Um, so, then, one night, uh, Kramer is, uh, is thinking about I, I'm assuming it's the same night it, it's framed to seem like it's the same night but uh, uh Kramer is at his house uh contemplating something and uh he um on oh of all places you're a goron you should be able to carry powder cakes right so why don't you buy a powder cake 50 rupees this is a secret tool for us to use later Sounds nifty. Powder cakes are made by my instructor. Come see me if you run out. I really like that, that once you get the powder keg license, you can just get them at a clock town. Makes sense. It, it's, uh, it's another instance of checkpointing, which this game is really good about. Um, good. So, uh, John Kramer looks out his window, and he can see his neighbor uh, smothering her uh, child... Uh, her infant child to stop the uh, crying and then she put it in the bed like the dead baby in the bed with her husband and then uh, leaves and then comes back hours later and puts on a whole show of like oh you rolled onto the baby and smothered him how dare you and so 
her husband ended up uh, getting. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't. I, I, I'm not sure if it was jail or psychiatric ward, but uh, wherever he ended up, he uh, took his own life, and so oh. John Kramer was uh, already developing what would be considered his first uh, test or his first game. Um. Which... Okay, I'm gonna throw this out here because this this reminds me of something that happened in the town I live in, actually. So, oh, several years hold ago, on to that. When my uh, little... hold on to that thought. Uh, these are the first okay. redeads we've seen. These redeads, can you guess what they were in life? Uh, Ikana. Well, yes, they were Ikana, but what do you think their profession was? Because I guarantee you're not going to be able to guess it. Sculptors. Ballet dancers. dancers. Oh my goodness. Yes, if I wear if I wear the Skokita mask, they dance and ignore me. It's so okay. great. Uh, so back to oh god, damn it, I need to. So, so 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 back to this story. Um, my my uncle was was uh, like in middle school, I believe, uh, back when this happened. Um. No, 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 this is years later. Um, anyway, what happened was... The lady across the street lived with her husband, and her, her husband abused her, and everybody knew it. Oof, that's rough. Eventually, they separated, and she ended up winning a court case. That, uh, essentially meant he had to, uh... Give up custody he, of the he kids? Was, he, was, he, he, he was paying her. Oh, uh, alimony. He, 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 Alimony and yeah, and that stuff. And she had won another case for uh, more alimony. He was he was a rich man. He was a lawyer actually. And one day he showed up at her house, and current theory is they had an argument, and he murdered her. Jesus Christ. He left her body in the garage and let the dog and locked the dogs in there so the dogs would eat her face. Oh, that's brutal. So, so they wouldn't be able to tell like how she was killed. Uh, he then took a plane that he owned. He owned a plane and he flew over the harbor and dropped his bloody clothing into the into the water. Oh man, that sounds like it probably uh, like. It sounds like a good idea, but it's definitely gonna wash up. And no, it never no? did. It didn't. Be because they they know he did it, but they could never find it. Oh. Uh, because he he flew out miles into the water. Ooh, okay. He yeah. He, so he didn't just so he flew out as far as he could, dropped it, and then flew back. And everybody knew he did it because he was that kind of person, and he also took his plane out. And flew all the way, all the way there. So they knew he flew out there, and that, that, that's the working theory. They, everybody knows it, but they can't prove it, which is the issue. So they ended up getting away with it. Ah, oh, that's rough. Uh, he ended up dying regardless, uh, but it was basically, I believe, just because he was like a terrible person in general, and just ended up dying in like his. Uh, just dying of like sickness or something and th it was a major court case in the uh, town where I live and my uncle uh, remembers it because it was just a major issue or major issue and like ever ever as I said everybody knew he did it they just couldn't like prove it prove it because like there was no evidence that he did for all they knew it was some random Maniac. Flying pig that came in and killed her. They know well, that's not the case, but they oh, can't improve. Oh damn it! it I didn't mean to do that. Oh, so that—that's what that uh, case you, the, the lady smugg smothering her baby reminds me of, because uh, yeah. that was an actual uh, sort of. It was similar. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, you know, oh, John Little, not, not really, I guess. I mean, it's still a. Uh, uh, int. I. I I do have interests in learning, like, true crime, uh, so, 
Like not in a not like in a, a weird way, but uh, like I like I like BuzzFeed Unsolved. I like uh, uh, and uh, a whining crime. Which I haven't is, heard of that one. Oh, it's a podcast. Okay. Um, like, but uh, yeah, that's really we or that's really wild. Um. So yeah, uh, let's see. John Kramer ends up making his first game, and what he does is he has it be. Okay, wait. What did that do? Hold on. Oh, that's just to get a heart piece. I don't need that. Uh, his first game, his contestants are the doctor who uh, mixed up his, um, the doctor who mixed up his. Oh, jeez. Nope. Uh, his prescription? Oh. No, no, his uh, X-rays. The no. doctor who mixed up his X-rays. The um, uh, guy who sold his nephew the okay I see the it. car the the motorcycle with bad brakes yeah. um and um the woman who had uh smothered uh her child, her child. which was his neighbor um and then a w woman who had stolen a purse with like three dollars and fifty cents in it, but also an inhaler, which the uh, uh, victim could not retrieve and suffered an asthma attack while trying to chase her down and uh, died. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, and a uh, and a guy who had uh, been who had dr drunk driven and caused an accident which killed his uh, friends and he was the only survivor those were the uh, victims of his uh, first game and the thing is he accidentally on the uh, person who mixed up his x-rays he had accidentally uh, over he had given too much anesthesia so the guy didn't uh. wake up in time to uh, avoid the trap which was spinning saw blades uh, oh. so, uh, so Kramer ended up saving him last minute and taking him on as his first apprentice. Okay, okay, makes sense. Wait, so, so he survived because Kramer saved him, but, uh, Yes, yes, but not before the saw blade started slicing into his back. Like, he woke up, like, Ooh. right as he was getting to the, uh, saw blades, right after everyone else escaped. Oh, so they escaped, or did they die? Well, I mean, no, no, The uh, that was the first trap of his first... Oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, then what happened was... Oh, Jesus. Uh, then what happened was... Um... None of them escaped. It ended up coming down to the final two, which was the guy who had, uh, um, the guy who had, uh, drunk driven and caused an accident that killed the friends and his neighbor, uh, and John Kramer's neighbor. And what happened was John Kramer gave them a shotgun, showed, put a single shell in it after saying, this right here is your key to freedom and left them uh, alone uh, and come on what the f and literally they could have used it to uh, get out of like the room or something but they chose to kill each other well the uh, they were they were had um, they had the ankle chains uh, that were locked and the keys the actual keys were in the um the other part. No, no, in the shotgun shell. Oh. Uh, and also the shotgun was rigged to fire backwards. So uh it, the thing was, oh, you're not supposed to kill the other person. Like uh But they but they did that anyway. Well, the neighbor did. 
So it, it was framed. The entire this was the mo the most recent one uh, where all this stuff it happens. Okay, so 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 it's a uh, it's a flashback movie of sorts. Yes, yes, it is very much a flashback movie uh, where the uh, where the apprentice the first apprentice is setting up the same games with uh, similar players. Uh, like setting up the same traps uh, to basically mimic the first game. Uh, so the plot that it's uh, um, the plot that it the game we the players or we the uh, uh, viewers see is actually taking place like 15 years in the past is the big twist. Uh, okay. Yeah, which is really good. It's a really good twist. Um, so, let's see, what else? Am I forgetting anything? So that's how the first game ends. Sorry, I just needed to re reload the entire thing so that I can get arrows. Oh, okay, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to say yeah. this. This sounds very interesting. And I think maybe sometime when we're together, we should sit down and watch them all together. Because yeah, we should. You, you, because I, I don't want all the spoilers. Well, you, uh, I, well, I asked. Be like I asked if you. I told you it was gonna be filled with spoilers, and you said I'm okay, never gonna I, watch I, I, them. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't think this was gonna be as extensive a spoiler talk as. as uh, I was gonna go through the entire is, lore is of. Saw. I, thought, I thought it was gonna be more. I thought it was gonna be more like uh, stuff like. Oh yeah, John Kramer uh, set up this game and this game and this is who survived and this is why they're important in the sequel series. Not uh oh here here's what they did and why they're dying and etc etc etc. And that that's for this is more extensive than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> what? You know me when I lore dump. Fair way, enough. This uh, is on me. I, I like that my mirror shield instantly kills uh, these guys. That, that's nifty. Yeah, it's a lot. Makes that, makes that work easier. Yeah, it, it's definitely a lot of... Uh, oh, it doesn't reach that far. Oh, well. I, I love that they all have different dances. Makes sense. I, I do like different dances. That one's doing the Cossack dance. Uh, so great. And oh, I love the design there. on this door. It, it's a really cool door. It looks like a some sort of person with multiple arms. That reminds me of uh, that's very Buddha-esque, I'd argue. Yeah. Oh god damn it! Not this fucker again. I hate oh, this Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. Did you know this is coming? Or did you forget? I did forget. He's a forgettable. He's forgettable. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that feeling. I, I can feel the anger just directed at him. Oof. Oh wait, what am I doing? I don't. I, I can just do. I need to do this so that I can actually make it there in time. Oh, okay. Without having to roll, and now he's gonna do the running thing. I I hate whiz robes in general. Whiz robes are the worst enemy. In Breath of the Wild, or just in this game? In general, in all games, I hate them. There's not a single whiz robe I like. Oh god damn it! What if I told you I was a whiz robe all along? Then I'd steal your meteor hammer, cause. Yeah, I know you'd be the kind that has the uh, fire. Really? I just thought I was more of a lightning person. Eh. You know what fire makes oh shit! Sense. Ooh, that was close. That was about <laughs> <laughs> just walk in, you're, you're... surrounded by zombies. Just put on the hat and it's like, okay, everything's safe. Yeah. Ah, we thought you, you were somebody else. It should think you're the boss. Ah, so Captain! Alright, and this is where we were going. We got this giant ass hole here. Mm. And I think there's a 
Garu somewhere on this roof. Uh, so how do we, wh what do you think we do here? Uh, bomb. Alright. It, uh, hammer? It shook it. I don't have hammer. I got Gorons. Uh, turn to a Goron then. Uh, are there any more hints? Like it's just a it's just a hole. Yeah, it's a hole that's cracked, and a bomb didn't have enough power to blow it up. Uh, oh, it's the explosive barrel. Yep. Uh, let's see. I will need fire arrows. Okay. See, I'm gonna need that. I'm going to need also this. All right, I got everything I need for the fight that's coming up. Why the eagle face? You'll see. What does that do again? Uh, it lets me play the ocarina in a march. But now all that. Oh God, I did not mean to. Kill them like that. Oh shit! Oops. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're just being well, yeah. The uh, the mirror sh or the uh, when I shine light on the undead, they stop being undead and just be regular dead. <sighs> All right. Now this is what I call a boss fountain. Or, I guess a mini boss fun. Oh god. Look at this room. So beautiful. You got skulls on the walls. You got skulls on the walls. You got beautiful windows. A weird face right there. A, a face pattern on the walls. I don't even know what that is. Lots this, of faces. Yeah, this is just such beautiful. This is a beautiful place to fight. You got that weirdo over there. That skeleton over there that's praying. Mm. Oh, man. This is just such a good arena. That is uh, clearly an obvious boss fight, as you can tell by the emptiness and the, the large chair at the end. It's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Oh, you'll see. That was a reference. Oh, insolent one who has brought oh, the un... Thing. Please, let me whisper okay. this one. Okay, okay. He's a mind. king. My servants have aimlessly before the light that guides you. However, the darkness in which my servants live is, after all, fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes just what kind of thing true darkness really is. You may use the darkness, but I was born in it. <laughs> oh, Keita, is it not Captain Keita? But you're so... Tiny! I was nearly fooled by what you have done. Alright. And now, I'll show you why. Uh. <laughs> Basically, you're just fucking with this guy. Yeah! But this is actually really good because it gives some distance so I can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, yeah, it's really fun. It's also useful in battle to get some distance. Fair enough. 
I like that immediately there's like two things you can do with two different masks that have different effects. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> great. Ikana is my favorite. Like, he goes to Ikana... By the way, these are the only uh, Stalfos in the game. Oh, okay. They're hurt by the light. Okay, that makes sense. Come on, hit me. Ooh, that was close. So, oh. so here's one thing I've, I've been thinking about. There we about go. Playing that, that's how you beat them, by the way. You have to, uh, okay. you, you have to, uh, get them down to just a pile of bones and then you gotta shine light on them. Okay. So I've been playing Breath of the Wild, and one thing that really bugged me is I'm just running around and there's enemy skeletons everywhere. Oh, I hate that. By the way, I love that Ego's Duikana is a skeleton with a beard. Oh yeah, that, that, that's a neat, it's a good design. Oof. He is a really good boss. He, he seems like he has a lot of personality, which is something I like in bosses. Oh yeah, he is great. He's not evil. Like, we came in- oh god. And he- We came in uh, wearing the face of his, uh, general. Oh, Jesus. I hate when he does that, because then his body becomes immune. Oof. Uh, oh god! I hate when he does that. But now... God damn it. Yeah, he's a really difficult boss. Really? Yeah. I just gotta get... Yeah, fair enough. Yes. Damn it. I was trying to get back into life. I like his design, I'm gonna be honest. It's a very... Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh. Uh... There we go. Whew! Yeah, if you notice, he took he took me four and a half hearts, and that was with resistance. With with the resistance up here. You're all blocking me! Get out of my way! I can still get him! Blocking you? Blocking you? No. Oh. The reason he beat us is because you were so feeble. Don't blame this on me. What? I just try saying that again to my body. Say that again, bony face. Feeble. Feeble, 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 feeble. Shut up, Bar. Eddie. Uh, don't look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all Ikana. The greatest swordsman in all of Ikana. You, feeble. Feeble. Draw your weapon. Huh? Yeah, I'm telling you to draw your sword. <laughs> How? <laughs> Will you stop? What fool? Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruined and us left in this state. Isn't it petty little battles like this that have caused it? Believing in your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure. These feelings have vanished from our heart. It all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of that stone tower. You who bring light into darkness. I am the king of Akana Kingdom. I go to you, Akana. The spell binding that had been cast upon us was broken by that light which you carry. To return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of the stone tower where the winds of darkness blow through. The darkness that I was born in, molded in! But stone tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. But it is far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so... 
I grant you a soldier who has no heart, one who will not falter in the darkness. The darkness that you merely talk. adopted. Damn it. I, I was trying to do it fast. No, that was... It was because I accidentally hit the button. No, I hit... I hit the button... I hit those buttons at the same time. God damn it. You're throwing me off. I was going to get that, but I accidentally hit the two buttons at the same time. Uh. This is my favorite song. The Elegy of Darkness. Elegy of Emptiness. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God! Yeah, it's so creepy! It's a mystical song that allows you to shed a shell shaped in your current image. By playing the song while wearing masks to assume different forms, you'll be able to leave up to four empty shells, one for each form. This soldier who has no heart is your twin image, a shell of yourself that you will shed when, you might, when your song commands it. On my kingdom shine the light of justice. You want to see what the other forms look like? By the way, this statue right here spawned one of the most uh, infamous video game creepypastas. I would believe that that is very creepy yeah ben drowned is uh i noticed that he's shaking that is very th creepy. that was because i was uh shaking the camera but uh let's see what the uh, okay. other ones uh, look like the deku uh they're only used to push down floor switches but uh the deku one is actually useless since the deku is too light to be able to do it but uh it'll definitely look familiar So where have we seen an empty shell of a soulless shell of a Deku before? Oh, it, it, it's the um, it's that tree. Oh no, that's different. Wow. I mean, okay, it, it resembles creepy. a tree. That's that is what people assumed the Deku Butler's son looked like. Okay, makes sense. So so th so this shows the original forms of the uh, people you uh, you're, you've been stealing bodies from. Yes, yes, they are, and, uh, like, this one is definitely, this one's gonna be clearly Darmani. Okay. Yeah, that, that's very much Darmani, yeah, I can tell. He's got very tiny feet, though. Well, he's a Goron. You not remember that one video about the, uh, uh, Gorons breaking their legs every time they stand up? I have not. I never even heard about that. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's. I I want to say I I want to say Scott Falco did it. Um, but it's like. Uh, but what it is is like Link arrives at Goron City, and is like okay, I'll get up. And t Goron takes one step and breaks it. Like, ah, do oh, you need help? Ah. And that is, like, you can see how it's Mikau. It, it is straight up Mikau. That's very, very impressive attention to detail. Oh, yeah. Each one of them, like, it, it doesn't really click until you use Mikau. Because with Darmani, we never saw him alive. With the Deku uh, Butler's son, we never saw him alive. Uh, Mikau's the to only fair, one we, we saw. did see Darmani's ghost, so I guess that was something. Like yeah, that. we did. By the way, I love Darmani's sleeve tattoo. It's really good. But not as much as Mikau's. But yeah, this is what they look like, and they are creepy, and I love them. It is why the Elegy of Emptiness is my favorite song. That is a very clever idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, now we're ready to go to the uh, temple. Almost. We have to get to the uh, final dungeon. 
Oh god damn it, I have oh, to okay. You have to go Let me just put this on so I don't have to fight Redads. Get in Uh so yeah, uh, the thing about the, the, I am so sorry. <laughs> that was an accident, but I'm gonna steal their money. Oof. Top ten worst things Link has done: stealing money from dancers. Yeah. Um, yeah. The uh, the the thing about the history of Ikana is that um. Is that the Ikana were in a war against the Garo, which are those ninja ghosts? You remember? I believe, yes, I remember those. Alright. Oh. Now it's time to go here. You remember what that the Garo said about this? All who enter are cursed to die. Well, let's go. A thousand men could not topple it, but one child can. Oh god, you hear the music? Yeah, that's like a... And then it's got like a little flute coming in. Like... There are, uh, can you pinpoint what the instruments are? Uh, oh. Uh, I'll have to turn up the volume, give me a moment. Alright, uh, oh. Drum and a tambourine. And a flute. There are there are four key instruments. The tambourine is counts with the drum. No, it doesn't. A tambourine does. is a totally different instrument. Do you know what that instrument that is? That that uh, that sounds like a flute, but it might be like a clarinet. It's an ocarina. Yep. It's a wind instrument. You went so the four instruments that they are are an ocarina, a guitar, a horn, and a drum. Gonna be honest, I kind of expected it to be that, but like the way you were building it up made me think it was something different. Well, it's symbolic. Fair enough. Where in this They're game have together. yeah? Where in this game have we seen? Oh, no! Oh, what They're the literally the, the uh, instruments used by the uh, people you take the bodies of. Exactly. It's symbolic. Mm. You're all coming together to uh, take on the stone tower. Yep. It, it's one of my favorite details that... Uh, it's one of my favorite details that go, that can easily go unnoticed. And it's also my favorite dungeon song in... It's definitely one of my favorite dungeon songs in all of Zelda. Uh, okay. so let's see. Uh, from here, where do I go? Uh, I need that next. Ah. So yeah, climbing, <laughs> what? Uh, the fact sorry, that I have I to go that. silent to uh, play these songs. Just, just a little. Just, well, just a little. It's, it, uh... These songs are a lot more complicated than uh, in Ocarina of Time. Fair enough. I figure that that's definitely a case. I've noticed they have a lot more of them. 
Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was just laughing because um, I glanced away and looked at a Tumblr for a moment. Oh, was there a funny <laughs> it, post? It, it, it's a picture of a dog with a cinder block in his mouth, and it's, he doesn't bite, he just throws cinder blocks. <laughs> So there's a dog that just throws cinder blocks at people. That that's funny. that's cute. It's probably a rock rough. <laughs> yeah, I can play this song. I can play this dungeon song on the ocarina. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's one of the uh, ones that I was. Determined to learn that and Megalovania. Makes sense. So the cool thing about this game that is different from uh uh oh that's just in case I want to go down. By the way, very beautiful. Like it's very beautiful, and the music gets louder as you get higher up. Makes sense. It's uh, something they also did in... Uh, it's something they also did in... Ocarina in Ganon's Tower. Makes sense. Uh, where do I go from here? Over here. And I'm gonna need to get the Blast Mask. And that is how you take care of them like a badass. Nice. You just explode your face and them. Alright, so... Uh... <sighs> yeah. I think we're only going to probably be able to do half the dungeon this uh, stream. But, uh, that's fine. What? That, that's Did fine. it not? Okay. Oh, because that was the other one, because, yeah, I see. Alright, so. I, I, I really do like the Stone Tower. It is one of the most confusing ass dungeons. Oh. It's not fair. Then is it the one that's down here? It is the one that's down here. By the way, uh, there's something very interesting that raises a lot of questions in regards to these floating blocks that I will show you. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, look at the under underside. Look what their tongues are licking. Uh, the... You see? It's the Triforce. Yeah, it's the Triforce. Yeah. That raises a lot of questions because, uh, Termina, that's the only reference to the Triforce in Termina. Because Termina is not Hyrule. We, there's no, there's no guarantee Termina has a Triforce. I don't think that's a custom texture. They took all their textures from uh, Ocarina of Time, right? Th uh, no, this is a custom texture. Oh, like, okay. Uh, they took models from uh, Ocarina of Time. Okay. To uh, because I was about to say may maybe that's a uh, custom. Uh... No, that's definitely not it, something that's in Ocarina. Ocarina. Okay. I don't remember everything in Ocarina, so you might be right there. No, oh, I'm definitely right. This uh, entire environment is uh, all Majora's Mask. And it is beautiful. Like, now that we're getting close to the uh, uh, top of the tower, you see that? That's the goal. Makes sense. Okay. Alright, so now... And the... 
the cool thing about this game, uh, is, as opposed to uh, Ocarina, is these jumps are actually perilous. If you hit it at the wrong angle, you're not going to have enough. Uh, for you're not going to have enough to be able to make it across. So these jumps are actually perilous to, uh... Okay, where the hell do I go? Where do I go? Oh, wait, uh... Hold on. I think... I might have an idea. Hold on, first I need to test this. Uh, I need to see where these blocks go whenever I remove the elegy statue. Ha ha! That is correct. So that means if okay. I. So that means if. You just check yourself off the cliff. Am I at the very beginning? Yes, I am. Yeah, it looks like that. Okay! Uh, that's a thing. So yeah, uh, this, this, this definitely a lot more dangerous than uh, any of the temples in... It's a lot more dangerous than any of the temples in um, Ocarina. Just on principle Makes alone. Sense. Luckily, we only have to get up there once because there's a uh, an owl statue. Makes sense. That that's good. Mm-hmm. Grabbing that. Uh, let's see. God, I love this music. Like, the music in Majora's Mask is amazing. That is an objective fact. But this music in particular, I cannot wait until Around the Monitor does uh, an analysis on this music. Because uh, uh, it's gonna be, it should be their next one, I think. Because they just finished up dissecting, they dissected the Water Temple music a couple weeks ago. Uh, Around the Monitor is a really cool YouTube channel that uh, uh, they have a video series of dissecting all the Ocarina of Time music, and they. Uh, also are doing Majora's Mask music now. Uh, dungeon Makes music. Sense. Temple music, I mean. <laughs> you know, the... Remember the mask just to get whopped by a rock. God damn it. Curse you, Dwayne Johnson. You're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? Okay, here's one thing I do like about uh, Moana. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's a good sheet. Uh, I, I, no, no, I think it's a good. I think it's a decent movie. I like it. But uh, it, it's a good movie. I, I haven't really rewatched it because it's just like I. I'm trying to avoid rewatching a lot of movies and trying to watch new stuff more frequently. That's fair. Uh, but Dwayne the Rock Johnson as Maui is a really good choice. Oh yeah, he, he's really good. Uh, didn't they? Didn't the uh, writer, the person who made the music, like when he heard that Dwayne Johnson was playing Maui, didn't he write something specifically so that Maui could, or so that Dwayne Johnson would sing terribly? Uh, that's, uh, 
That's the guy who did Hamilton. Yeah, Lin Manuel Miranda. So that means. So that means I don't actually need to do any of. Ow! Any of those other than the first one. Where do I go from? I, I do wish that the camera wouldn't, you know, be like that. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Ah. <sighs> Uh, I, I feel like for the past minute I've been mid sneeze and it's awful. Oh god, that's terrible. I'm gonna step out for a moment. I'll be right back. Okay. Ah, I am gonna be busy climbing these towers. So yeah, Stone Tower's got a lot of lore behind it that's really interesting. Um, it's, it's definitely one of the, it's got the best gimmick, which I am not going to spoil scraps on. <sighs> I am not going to spoil scraps on what this dungeon's gimmick is, because that is going to be a surprise. God damn it. Uh, yeah, sorry, I, f I had to force the sneeze because it was going to drive me crazy otherwise. Oof, it's rough. I am making my way up the tower. I'm almost back to where I was when I fell. Only this time I actually know what I'm doing. Alright, so that means... Um, so, what do you think this dungeon's gimmick's gonna be? It seems to be, uh, making copies of yourself. Well, I mean, like, no, that's just, this, that's just the key to get to the dungeon. We're not at the dungeon yet. Uh, okay. Th uh... This is the road to the dungeon. What can, what can you tell me about the dungeon? Um... It is definitely very complex. It uh, requires you to be uh, skilled in pretty much everything you've learned up to this point. It's, is it, it the final dungeon? This is the final dungeon uh, because the uh, there's no n dungeon for the final boss. Then is it a dungeon where you're basically doing a by all our powers combined? Uh... I mean, yeah, to, to an extent. Um, let's see, uh, so let's see if this works. I hope it does. Yes, yes, ha -ha! yes, yes. yes! My god, that that was wonky. <laughs> and then oh, the yeah. camera goes back to where you were and then it's like, no wait a minute, it's it's here now. Yeah, it, it camera that, that was funny, yeah. Camera does get a bit weird sometimes. Fair enough. Alright, and we made it to the top. Oh Whew! My goodness. That means I can reset time again. Uh after I why do they reset time? Well, just because we're already on the night of the uh, first day. Unless it takes you two days, it shouldn't really be that bad. It, this, this dungeon will most likely take me the entirety of the three days. Oh, shoot. Okay, that, that, that's interesting. Wow. 
Yeah, uh, I think I'm only going to be able to complete about half of it. Once I get the uh, uh, dungeon item, then I'll uh, we can call it a night because there's a. Uh, 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 let's see. There we go. It, it's definitely a very beautiful, and I'm pretty sure this dun the dungeons gimmick will be like revealed fairly early on before we can actually make use of it. Makes sense. I, I'll tell you what the fandom has nicknamed this uh, dungeon once we uh, once you figure it out. Uh, the the temple is called the Stone Tower Temple. Uh, and that's its in-game name, but the, okay. uh, the the fandom has a much much cooler, more accurate name. I mean, it, I mean, Stone Tower is still accurate. It's the temple at the top of the Stone Tower. Mm. There's just something about giant towers reaching the heavens that are extremely cursed that I love. Like this one, the, the uh, I think uh, uh, I want to say Alnuma said that uh, the inspiration for the stone tower was the Tower of Babel. Um, oh, is this the one where it's different languages? What? No, I, I mean that's what the Tower of Babel is, but that's not the thing's gimmick. Oh, okay. Oh god. Oh, here's here's the fun thing. So you know. Nimrod, the guy who made the Tower of Babel? Yeah, the hunter. Yeah, so he wore the clothes first worn by uh, Adam. Interesting. That Those yeah, would that, be that... the first clothes ever made then. Because yes. uh, it was after they ate the fruit of the knowledge that clothing became a thing. Yes, so... Uh, Which, by Nimrod... the way, was a pomegranate, not an apple. Fair enough. Pomegranates are very spooky. Tag your so pomegranates. Nimrod. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so Nimrod uh, wore the clothing of Adam, which made all animals subservient to him. So that's why he was considered a great hunter, because all the animals bowed to him. Makes sense. It made hunting them very easy. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there, there's critics of him who are like, oh yeah, he was only a great hunter because all the animals were like bowing to him. But he was also apparently a great hunter too. So, before he decided to make the Tower of Babel, he had this great idea that he'd go and take God on personally. You know what? I, I so can respect he, that. So he made a box and attached meat to it so that uh, ravens would grab the uh, meat and carry him up into the sky. So, like so he took out his bow and arrow, poked out of his box, and shot arrows into the sky where he believed God was. Uh, do you know if any hit? Uh, none of them hit. Uh, what, what happened was the angels caught them and bathed them in, uh, I believe, animal blood. Ooh. And then threw them back. So he thought that he had struck God. And uh, proud of himself, he leapt out of his box and returned to the earth below, where he just landed like a like a Chad. By the way, this did, is the most the badass world. dungeon entrance ever. It's got hands, or it's got a hand pointing up to the heavens. It's a face mm. that you go into its mouth. Oh, this is that. Uh... You, you were mentioning this earlier with the uh, the tower. Yeah, and you got this cool gem, door. huh? You're mentioning it earlier with the door. This is like the door that we saw earlier. Yeah, it's like the door. Uh, the door down below is like an effigy of this. Nice. Like it's such a cool. And the inside looks so much cooler. If you can believe that. Oh, 
so cool. It's a very menacing design. Oh yeah. It, uh, where was I? Uh, Nimrod jumped and uh, out of the box yeah. and proclaimed that he killed God, or that he struck God. Yes. Uh, it didn't work though. He, he just he, so so he fell. He basically jumped out, landed like a Chad, and walked away. Uh, but then uh, I believe it was uh, his nephew, who was like God's chosen servant at the time, was like, "Yeah, Nimrod, you didn't actually get God." And he's like, "Ah, you're talking Ow. shit." So he's like, "I'm gonna send my army to kill you." So he sends his army to kill the, this uh, his his nephew, and his nephew's like, "Nah, I'm gonna call on God, and God is gonna send gnats into their brains and eat them alive." All so right. there's one version of the story where Nimrod has a gnat just rattling around in his brain eating it. Oof. You know, I, I will say that I love that Bugs Bunny changed the word Nimrod from b meaning a great hunter to meaning an idiot. Fair enough. When he <laughs> sarcastically called uh, Elmer Fudd Nimrod. Yeah. Uh. I, I guess it's just one of those cases where, like, Bugs Bunny is more famous than the Bible now. Bugs Bunny is stronger than God. <laughs> Amusingly enough, that might be true. I've seen Gu Bugs Bunny. Not, I've never seen God. We are not... Con we are not <laughs> we're not condoning that Bugs Bunny is stronger than God. We're just merely commenting on the fact that he probably is. Yeah. Because as we know, Bugs Bunny can beat Thanos. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to save a bomb here. Oh, damn it. Uh-huh. Oh, damn it. Use the bomb I, mask. Can you use the bomb mask? I, I can. Hold on. Okay. Right, I'm going to see if any of them have bombs. Oh, Okay, no. Oh, man. Ah! We, we've gotten clues as to what this dungeon's gimmick is. Uh, I don't know if you've been paying attention to pick up on them. Uh... God, I, I'm kind of in like a position where I'm like, I just don't want to turn my brain on to think about it. Oh, hey, there's bombs. Oh, God damn it, I actually needed those. Mm. Uh, or just pay very close attention to the environment and you'll be able to tell. It seems to be moons and gates. Oh, Ow, it's upside down. It rotates. Yep. The uh, cool fan name for this dungeon is the uh, Stone Palindrum. Because... Uh, Stone Palindrum, Stone Palindrum is a really cool name. Mm. All right, so. so you're literally going like upside down. Well, I I will. Um, to flip it, turn up to turn the dungeon upside down. I need the uh, dungeon item. So once we get halfway through, I'll be able to do that. Makes sense. And that's why this dungeon could very well take the full three days. Because it it's essentially the size of two dungeons. And getting all the stray fairies can uh, be confusing. Because uh, it, it, it's very difficult to navigate in the best way. This, this is... Like, this is everything I loved about the... This is, like, everything I loved about the Water Temple. The extre the confusing navigations. The, uh, 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 weird, like, the, the puzzle gimmick that changes the entire dungeon. You need really good spatial awareness to be able to get anywhere. These are the dungeons I absolutely love. Makes sense. I, I've seen dungeons like that before in games. Yeah. A and dungeons that turn upside down are always 
good. I've never seen one that wasn't. I do need to fall down there. Oh, well. Alright, and I definitely need you. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of which dungeon would be most like it in uh, Twilight Princess. Um, oh. I, I really wish Wind Waker had dungeons that were super complex and confusing like it. It's... And it's got very beautiful like textures. I think this is the first time we've opened one of these chests as a Goron. I got the map! I'm neat. <laughs> Oh, that stone statue can go get get uh, blown up. I Don't guess. worry. That's the cool thing about being a Goron is I'm basically in invincible. Makes sense. Yum! This lava tastes spicy. <laughs> Ha! You cannot hide from me, chests! A secret? Oh, th uh, that's an important chest. Okay, never mind, it's not a secret. Uh, let's see. I think there's... Ah. That's where. Cannot hide from me. There's nothing you can hide from me. Your secrets are all mine. He is a secret chest. <sighs> yeah, it's 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 a beautiful dungeon. It's it's so good. There, I I don't know what to say that hasn't already been said. Like you can already see like the paths that are going to be taken oh yeah i can definitely see oh that is a very clever idea oh yeah and definitely saves on space with having to only you know have one dungeon but make it two oh goodness i just realized you're going to be falling up that's oh, a yeah. nightmare oh yeah no i've i have that nightmare every time I uh the the cool thing though is the dungeons um the boss room is actually in the mini boss room the mini boss it's room the yeah just upside down that's clever oh god damn it if I didn't hit that uh yeah cuz the mini boss room has a uh like has a a, a skylight like an op a hole in the ceiling that the mini boss drops down from oh, come on uh and so to be the uh, to get to the boss you have to make your way to that room oh come on really can i not do that yet oh wait i know what to do I no, I can't, because there's that... Mm. How do I do that? That's too big. Oh, wait. Will you launch me up there? Yes, thank you. And here I was trying to be, like, super overly complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And then this puzzle's very easy. Uh. 
Simple as that. Oh god damn it! Well, uh, okay. Can I at least get up? Th oh no, because there's the block blocking that one too. Okay, so I'll have to come back whenever I get the light arrows to deal with that. <clears throat> yeah. This is, uh... It's it's such a cool dungeon. These are these. I I hope that Breath of the Wild has something similar to this. More in-depth dungeons of this of this type. Yeah, just really interesting gimmicks that like change the very nature of the dungeon. Like uh, and like. That right there, that button that I pressed that caused the chest to appear on the ceiling. Like, if you didn't realize what the dungeon's gimmick was before, then you, like, you would definitely realize at that point. Uh, let's see. I do have a key. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's this room. This is a fun room. I love the goofy faces on these. Alright, uh... Alright, uh, let's see. Does anything happen if I hit these? Nope. I think one of them might give a chest. Yes. I knew it. And I just want to be sure. Okay. I just had to be sure, just in case, because this is the this is the one where you really don't want to uh, miss any miss straight anything. fairies. Yeah, because you have to go through the entire thing again. Yes, yeah, this is the one that is the most difficult to navigate. Like I don't know why the Great Bay, like people, I don't know why people like think the Great Bay is the most confusing one. And these mirrors, these mirrors are really cool. Watch this. Get out of my way! Haha! -ha. It's so cool. And it's such a good use of light puzzles that Ocarina never had. Oh fuck! Like this game, this this dungeon has a lot of things that I love. It's got light puzzles. It, it's got a really cool gimmick. It, it's got it, it's challenging. It makes use out of every uh, every dungeon tool you have. Yes, it, like this is grueling. This is okay. Fuck you. God damn it! So you just need to hold that for a bit. Yeah, yeah. The um, the tr the amount of time that it has to light, like the, is based on how long you hold it. So you gotta hold it. Um, and then these guys are infinitely spawning. But makes sense. It does sound frustrating. God damn it! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm already annoyed. Nope. Mmm. Because they keep pushing me out of the way. Yeah, it tells like, this mirror, it's different from your everyday mirror.
Now you see why it takes three days. Three days! Let me kill this guy. So, so, so much stuff going on. Yes, this is it. This is it. Yes! Ah. Yeah, it, it, the, it, it's hard if you can't get a good angle. Oh, fuck. I, I like the fake Goron things, because they're kind of cute. In a weird way. Oh, fuck. Ah, thank goodness I have the, uh, resistance. Alright, what's in here? Oh, this room. I know this room. Come on, come on, I can make it, I can make it. This is a room I am quite familiar with. Oh, god damn it. This is a uh, this this is just to get a stray fairy, but this room haunts my nightmares. Makes sense. Oh, damn it. So close. <sighs> I mean, the room itself isn't to get a stray fairy, but this particular puzzle is. And I kind of want to get all the stray fairies. Makes sense. Because you get a really cool item from this one. It's the uh, equivalent of Bigron's sword. difficult like even I a pro gamer am having a lot of difficulty with it to see if I can just like bunny hood run all the way over there and no I definitely can't you probably can't I can't oh oh dang it yeah it it's so hard to get a good angle like it's like yeah, I, I can trying to that. thread you have to thread so many needles to get it right so can you hear like a timer or am I just uh no but I can hear when it goes oh this is it this is it this is it no come on oh ah oh, if I didn't if I didn't get ping ponged If I didn't ping pong, I would have gotten it. Uh, but, uh, you, there is a, a, a noise that happens when the flames reappear. Oh, 
Oof. Yeah, no, I'm not making it this time. Oh, as a. Oh, man, I probably could have actually. I think I might have an idea. And if this works, if I get it this time, then that means my idea works. Right, so, just need to. There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, no. I, my idea did not... That wasn't my oh. idea. That was just an accidental button press. Fair enough. Uh. Okay, yeah, no. My, my idea was to try to bounce off the wall into the pillar to try and, like, ping-pong it through the needle in a good way, not in the way that I have been. Mm. Uh, it's gonna be this for the next hour. It's easier coming back than it is. Like it's easier to get it coming back than it is going out. For some reason. What if I try to ride the edge? Come on, go, go. Oh. Okay, yeah. I think riding the edge is where I need to do. Because that was the closest I'd been. Oh. Yeah, I'm not getting it this time. Not with that bad beginning. Yeah, the noise that uh, plays when the flames go back up is the button repressing. Okay. Oh, so close. Yeah. Definitely riding the edge is what I need to do. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> I have no idea what to say here. I'm going to go I, get I, uh... yeah, I don't know either. Do you have any stories? Trying... Okay. Anything. Give me a... Th uh, watch any good movies lately. Oh, this is it! No! Oh, I no. had it! I accidentally punched! I accidentally punched! My button oh. act. Er, oh, I had it too. Hey, what movies have I seen lately? <sighs> when I mentioned that I saw Demon Slayer recently. Yeah. I have mixed feelings on. Um. What movies? Let me check. Oh, I watched. I on Division. I've heard of that. I, I have uh, seen it. I, it's I, Marvel I, I, show and a continuation of the movies. Yeah, I, I know that. I, I've heard of it. I just haven't. I kind of stopped caring about uh, Marvel. Yeah, I, I kind of stopped caring. Like, the pandemic, like, I'm not going to say the pandemic made me hate them, but, uh, the pandemic definitely showed me that they're, oh, shit. The pandemic, like, the fact that no movies have really been out have made me become more critical of what movies are out. And, like, there's just a lot of bad writing in general in the Marvel films. I don't agree with that. I'm, I'm gonna say the Marvel movies have definitely more okay movies than they do have great movies. That time is way too tight. It is. I mean, this is the final dungeon. And this is- It's still way too tight. Yeah, well, this is also an optional item I'm trying to get. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is like- uh, 
Well, one vision's interesting. And we're only five episodes in, right? Yeah, no, I'm not getting it this time. But... It... Really interesting, because what they're doing is they're doing... Different time periods for each episode. Yeah. So the first episode and, and is uh, a riff on 1950s uh, style comedies. So you've got like an episode where Wanda and Vision do like the whole like they're, they're 50s sitcoms, housewives. Essentially. They're, they're, yeah, they're 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 definitely doing sitcom stuff. Yeah. No, I haven't seen Pleasantville. We need to. It's got Tobey Maguire. I can believe that. So, oh. the first episode is very much something of the means of like, oh yeah, our boss is coming over, and I need to make sure I have an appropriate dinner set out. Is the for, boss Tony uh, Stark or something? No, no, Who's it's a, uh, it's some other guy. And they have like a funny joke where it's like, "Oh, you need to make sure you're uh, better prepared for the uh, dinner than uh, Toby." And they look over to this guy who's like packing up his office, and he's like, "My my wife thought uh, about five courses would be enough, and that poor taste in music it was a string quartet, and that horrible hippie wear. I wore a turtleneck." <laughs> It's very amusing. Hmm. And slowly, bit by bit, like, little things unravel. Like, a character starts choking, and somebody just keeps laughing and laughing because, they, because they're stuck in the script. Interesting. And somebody, or, or somebody's, like, uh... Oh, like, doing in the middle of, like, a speech, and then it's, like, the radio changes, and she's, like... What's going on? Who are you? And then, like, immediately she goes back on script. <laughs> okay, so it's, it, so it's surreal, like... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It, it's very surreal. And it keeps building and building and building. And at times, it's it, it keeps up the whole, uh, the whole funny family act for a while. And it just it keeps getting weirder and weirder. And in the newest episode... I'm trying to avoid spilling anything, just in case you want to watch it together. Uh, but they have a character. Uh, so I, they... I probably won't watch it. Like like I said, I okay. don't care much for Marvel, but it does sound uh, interesting. It's unique. So, so, so Wand and Vision just had kids. And, so part uh, of the reason why this is so difficult, by the way, is the camera. I, I've, I've noticed. It looks very disorienting. Oh, it is, because I have to. It's basically a U turn, and at, uh, once I make the turn, I can't see until the camera readjusts. Recenters, yeah. So, so Wanda and Vision have two kids, uh, twins. Oh, like and, Wanda was. Yeah. And at a point, the no nosy neighbor character comes by, and she's like, Oh, can I can I hold the kids? And Vision's like, Oh no no no! Don't don't touch! Don't don't touch your kids! I I have a bad feeling about this. And he's like, oh, don't, don't touch him. He, he's being like a fussy parent. And the laugh track stops. And the nosy neighbor turns to Wanda and is like, God damn it! Do you want to do a redo? And she and Wanda's like, what? And the nosy neighbor's like, the, the scene. Do you want to reshoot the scene? And, she, and Vision's like, what are you talking about? And she's like. You want me to hold the kids, right? <laughs> and Wanda's is like, "Oh no, it'll be fine." And everything immediately goes back to like the laugh track, and like the music starts back up. And then so, just, like, what it seems like is they pr ha seem to have a formula of uh, someone makes a mistake on the script, someone uh, breaks the fourth wall, everyone's confused, and then status quo uh, returns. Yeah, well, what's going on is is this revealed in the fourth episode? Mm. Is that um? <clears throat> is that the entire tilted, town the way. has been essentially hijacked by Wanda's power. 
and they're living in like a little fantasy sitcom world. Oh. With Vision and and Vision's that that's his corpse walking around and talking. Oh yeah, that I she, figured she, that much based on the. Uh, oh come on, come on! Oh premise. god damn it! Uh, it's literally his corpse I, walking yeah, around. Yeah, I, I figured that much based on the uh, uh, thumbnail of game theory or film theories. Like I I, oh, I figured that they're much. They're doing that. Oh, god, I hate that. They, they shouldn't be releasing videos like that so soon after it comes out with spoilers in the thumbnail. Well, it was the uh, corpse from... Uh, Endgame. Yeah. Okay. But it's it doesn't take a genius to figure out, like, okay, so what I know is that Wanda and Vision are living in a weird sitcom. Uh, there's a picture of Vision's corpse. I'm guessing that Vision's not actually alive. Supposedly, he might still be alive. We were not sure. Apparently, well, I mean, the, current, the current theory in what? universe is that she's somehow. Oh sure God that. damn it! Ooh, I hate that. Yeah, the I current hate that. Universe theory is that she somehow managed to revive him because he keeps going off script and she has no control over him. I mean, it could also be subconscious bullshit. Like she Maybe. knows that it's wrong to do this, and Vision is essentially her conscience. Maybe. Uh, but one thing that's interesting is there's a yes! scene Woo! where oh, did it did it hell yeah oh there, there, there's a, now what if I told you that episode. what if I told you that button is timed and now I have to get to it really fast oh is it no I don't believe because so. it wasn't a button it was a it was a chest yeah it, it was a switch oh it, okay. Yeah, it was a switch that I pressed down, and that caused the, uh, thing to... Okay. <sighs> now I can actually do this room proper, and if I fall into the lava, that means I, uh, have to do it again. Oof. So, so at the end of every episode, Wanda and Vision sit down in front on the sofa, near the, in front of the TV. And they follow it with, like, a, a roll call of, like, fake names, like, produced by <sighs> yada yada and scored by yada yada. And it's all, like, very tongue-in-cheek, like, oh, yeah, it's a comedy. <laughs> yeah. And for this episode, Vision's like, something's wrong here. And the credits start rolling, and he's like, wait a minute, don't do this, don't do this. Like, we're having this conversation. You can't just roll credits. <laughs> yeah, so it's basically Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, but with Marvel. A little. And, and there's some really great scenes regardless of that. Uh, I'm definitely underselling just how, like, well done the entire show is. Because the effects work is phenomenal. Because they really hit, like, the style of, like, those 50s shows. You know, like, uh... Oh! Where, like, the, where, like all it. the stuff is, uh... Oh, thank God, the button's still pressed. Oh. I, I was worried that, uh... Because when you catch her on fire as a Deku, you automatically reset to the room. Mm. And I was worried that, uh... Is there... Oh, hold on. There is a chest over here, though. That is a different chest. Oh, it's a good thing I opened that one. <sighs> I like these updrafts. Ah, uh, it's just... It's very spooky in, like, subtle, clever ways. And they got this great... These great characters and whatnot. It's very fun. It's very fun. Mm. And I'm trying to figure out how, what else I can say about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, so so they try to kill Wanda by firing a missile at her. That'll never through work. Through the, yeah, through the um, through the uh, little. So so right. sword what? shows up. Who? And uh, so, sword. So you know shield, right? Oh, that's so stupid. 
Uh, it's, it's been a thing since the 30s. I know, but that's really stupid. Like, S.H.I.E.L.D. itself was pretty stupid. Yeah, fair enough. So, so you got S.H.I.E.L.D. and now they got S.W.O.R.D. And S.W.O.R.D. is being run by the daughter from, uh, from Captain Marvel. Oh, come on! The fuck? And she gets dragged into Wanda's little imaginary world, and now S.W.O.R.D. is camping out outside the perimeter. Trying to uh, figure out how to get in and stop Wanda. Mm. So they go in and they bring back like uh, weapons tech from the 80s and have that fly in. And then Wanda's like, "Don't talk to me or my kids." And uh, yes, I did it. They, and, they, and they try firing a missile. <sighs> so so like a moment later. She's walking out of the uh, of the quarantine zone with dragging a missile behind her. She just has like a missile. Dragging oh shit! Mini boss. Like... Oh neat. Show, yeah, show see, the there's door. there's the well that big door right there is the boss room. Okay. Um, you got the mini boss is gonna drop down there. That's where you jump into for the boss fight when it's upside down. And this mini boss is actually pretty hard. Um, I think I'm going to. Fuck. I can probably do this. You wanna voice him? Oh, if I must. Well. Oh. He, doesn't have a, he doesn't say anything. Never mind. <laughs> Actually, pretty tough because he doesn't fight like they normally do. Oh wait, uh, what if I? Do I have any? God, I don't. Uh, what if I do this? Ice arrows, nice. Let's see, what what else can I talk about? Shit. That's uh, that's less uh, weird. I don't know. Uh, I want to talk about treasure planet. Oh, okay, I think I know. You want to talk about Treasure Planet? Because I want to talk about Treasure Planet. Yeah, uh, there we go. Now you voice him. To think I could be defeated, although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that which releases the sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born in the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. That motherfucker is committing suicide. What? <laughs> this is the law of Esgero. Yeah, so interesting, uh, interesting note. All the other Garo, whenever they uh, die and... Uh, and whenever they say to die without leaving a corpse is the way of the Garo, um, whenever they say that, they usually just burst into flames. By the way, now I got the light arrows. And it did not refill my uh, thing, which is going to be a problem. But oh well. Um, Fair enough. Okay. I think. I believe. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, I think. Treasure Planet is a great movie. It really it is. Really uh, screwed it over. Yeah, by releasing it uh, at a really bad time, where it was get, it was overshadowed by another Disney film. And Harry Potter. Is that too? Although they couldn't have predicted Harry Potter. No, they totally could have. Trust me on those. No, oh, okay. They, they were popular ass books even before the movie came out. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, even if it turned out to be an absolutely bad movie, uh, it still would have made a box office, uh, 
records until the sequel came out and nobody wanted to see it. Uh, well, why don't but you look up? Why don't you look up uh, what happened in um with um? Is there? I think there. Come on, yeah, I know there's it, a uh, what? Uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Look up that movie. That I'm movie. well aware what happened there. Oh god damn it! I did not mean to do that. Where is? I'm well aware what happened with that movie. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen, I've seen it in the sequel. Yeah, so have I, and I wish I didn't. I saw so the very first like actual date I oh god damn it! The very first actual date I ever went on was to see Percy Jackson the Olympians. Uh oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry if y'all. Sorry uh, if you. Right there. Oh no no. Uh, we did it for two years. But it was also in middle school, so it doesn't really... It's still dubious on whether or not it actually counts. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I hope I have enough arrows for this. This is Igor. No, he is not a Hinox. Come on. Get close to me. That's spooky. Literally, he's got, like... Angry eyes. Yeah, uh, he's Igor. Um, it's a monster from um, Link to the Past is where they uh, okay. first appeared. Uh, in the first dungeon, actually, of Link to the Past. So they reused models. Did they remake? Is, it, is that a new enemy? Yes, that is a new enemy. It was not in Ocarina of Time. Okay. All right. Alright, and now... So, one of the things I love about Treasure Planet is... By the way, now I don't need to do the light puzzles anymore. How it recontextualizes the relationship between... Oh, uh, Long John main, Silver? And it's antagonist and it's protagonist. Oh, yeah. Sil Silver and, um, and James uh, Hawkins. Yeah. Jim Hawkins. And that that's neat. So so in the original, Jim Hawkins is basically a kid, and he gets bullied the entire uh, movie by uh, by Silver. Silver basically gets away with all the gold at the end, and he's like, "See ya, Jimbo," and they and he leaves. And it's uh, supposed to be like, ah, oh, the villain kind of wins, but it's like it's not meant to be that. It's uh, it's it's a it's a story growing up and whatnot. Yeah. And God damn it, he got in the way. Ah, that's frustrating. But in this one, uh, they re they recontext the relationship as that of a father and son. Yeah. Which is very clever. They they remove the unnecessary parent because uh, J Jim had a mom and a dad. And Disney was very smart about this. Most because Disney's known for killing off parents. Yeah. They just have the dad leave. He just Makes leaves. Sense. He doesn't die. He just. Leaves. So, uh, do and... you want to see the tower invert uh, th this stream or uh, next stream? Because we we'll, we'll, did everything. We'll do it now. Well, I mean, because regardless of. Actually. Oh, no. Because I can't save after I invert it without inverting it again. So, we'll save it for next stream. Uh, I was gonna say we should do it this stream so that we can uh, have like a, ooh, a special moment before the next stream to like cap it off on like a cool moment. But I guess we can do it do it that way. Yeah, we can start it. I'll leave you in uh, in uh, suspense because we've been going for nearly we we've been going for nearly three hours and uh, oh yeah, and I seven thirty. Yeah, and I got the uh, dungeon item. Uh, I got the dungeon item. I got everything I need to uh, invert the tower. All right. So uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Oh God damn it! No. Yes. Save. 
So, uh, in next stream, next week, we're going to beat this game. Um, so definitely make sure you check it out. Check us out. Uh, tomorrow on Scraps' uh, Twitch, if you're watching live at least, um, is uh, Twilight Princess. You should also check that out. Um, and actually, also... What? I have actually, an idea. Actually, I think I want to do something else uh, for like next stream next week. Oh, uh... Yeah, I'll go back to try the Princess, of course. I just want to, like, try something else for a moment. I'll talk to you after about it, and we can be a surprise. Ooh, interesting. And that, But that's next week, not tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, okay, tomorrow. All right, Unless so, uh, surprise tomorrow that I don't even know. So definitely check that out, and if you're watching on YouTube, check it out on Wednesday. Um, yeah, speaking of YouTube, make sure you comment and like it. Yeah. If you uh, if you like my stuff, uh, hit that subscribe button. It'll definitely help. Uh, so uh, I think that's it. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Have a nice day and good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.